everybody, Costa Della Great Missenden here. Today I'm doing a quick video, it's going to be onion rings wrapped in bacon. Yeah, so here we go. Here's an onion ring. Here's some bacon. Right, so here's the bacon. Here's the onion ring. What we've got to do is try and pull it as tight as we can and loop it back on itself. Back through the ring. delicate you don't want to break them up. Now we're going for it. I think what I'm going to do is once I've wrapped them all up I'm going to give them a light dusting of um, maybe some sort of baking powder or cooking powder to see if they're crisp up on the barbecue. Could be a good idea. Yeah, I'll run out of bacon again on that one. I think what I'll do this time is just take a bit of bacon off of that one. for the barbecue. Right, hi, back again. As you can see, I've um, been a bit busy over the last 20 minutes wrapping these onion rings up in bacon. Seem to have come out okay though. Um, I'm gonna stick them on the barbecue in a minute. I'm gonna cook them up and they're gonna taste good. Oh, also, I did say I'm gonna chuck some of this on. It's like um, chicken fry mix. So, with any luck, they're going to go a little bit crispy as well. Absorb a bit, a bit of the moisture and come up a bit crispier. So, we'll see how that goes. See you in a minute. Hello, everybody. Custard and a great missile in here. Um, I've got my chicken wrapped onion rings ready to go on. I've also been cooking some nice bits of um, chicken wings and chicken thighs on the barbecue. They're all pretty much done now, I'll give you a bit of a look at that. It's not really part of the video, but they've come out pretty nice. But look, they're all nice and beautifully crispy for using a, a vortex type device. They've come out really well. They need to go in the oven just to stay, stay warm because it's really, really cold out here. Um, so I'll bosh them in in a second. First, I'm actually going to um, be putting the bacon wrapped onion rings on the grill. So I'll show you what's going on with that. <coughs> right, so here's my um, bacon wrapped onion rings. It's a little bit old school. Um, people were doing it a lot a few years ago. But I thought, you know what, they taste really nice. So I'm going to do a video about it. Let's get them on. Right, so here we are. I've got the bacon onion rings on the grill. I'll show you my thighs. It's, uh, they've been cooking away for a while, look. Nice and crunchy. The onion rings are on there. I'm not expecting them to take any more than 10 minutes because this thing is running super duper hot. So I'm running these onion rings or bacon and onion rings just over the hot part of the center of the cortex just to crisp them up and give them some nice color 
time that it got a bit of a crunch to them. They don't need long, literally seconds. I'll show you them indoors in a minute. This is my dinner. Got the onion rings, which are really tasty. The chicken wings, which come out lovely and crispy. There's my thighs, and a little bit of couscous as well. There's some nice veg in there. I'm really happy with how it came out. Hopefully you'll agree it looks amazing, because it definitely sure does taste good. And I'm um, not forgetting my little centerpiece. This is like a bacon and onion production, sort of like a jam type thing, if you like. Made with um, some Memphis style sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. Um, worked really, really well. I'm very happy with this cook. It's really nice and tasty. These bacon onion rings are a bit old school, but they're good. And I'll be making them um, in a few weeks at a tailgate I'm going to, so they'll be able to look forward to that. Right, see you soon. Cost a great Missenden. Bye. Give these wings a go. Mm. Really good. Slide up the bone.